everybody, I'm a ghost! Boo! Uh, last time, Napoleon occupied Berlin. There's some creepy mermaid. I don't know if I showed you this before. I love the artwork on this, since I have the actual board game from way, way long ago. Uh, I don't know, we used to always... We... You were a part of it, too, and you never knew! Me and my friends would always hang around, you know, it was always cool to have these out and the cool little pieces. So we've got an English army here that we're trying to capture. Uh oh, it's making a move on Paris! How dare you! Prussia defeated. You have humbled the mighty kingdom of Prussia. Your troops occupied Berlin. Northern Europe now obeys your command. Diplomacy has reduced Prussia to the status of friendly neutral power. The state will last... This state will last for one calendar year. Uh, we can use Minor Nation Joins the Empire. And Napoleon's Genius. We got these two cards for breaking Prussia's back yet again. That is really good. Because we have a card that if we get Denmark on our side, we can get two extra ships. So why don't we start moving towards Denmark? Well, at the same time, we're going to have these guys move here. Oh shit, they can't move! Crap, they don't have a leader! I don't have any cards to create leaders, do I? I do not. Lord Poop. Uh, we'll have this army fall behind, I guess. We'll have this army move northwards. And then we'll get ready for winter. This is a really good card, Napoleon's Genius, but I want more horse artillery. Oh, I didn't th realize they're going to. Those bastards! So they went to Picardy. The reason they did that was to see John Luke Picardi, but also to drive our fleet out of the port there that had been hiding there forever. We're going to try and retreat. I don't know that that's going to work. Our fleet is going to get decimated. Well, there's not much we can do about that. First shot, too. It didn't even take a bunch of ships to hit it. Well, there's no way any of that fleet's coming back. They are all as good as dead. What we really need is another one of those storm cards. Well, there goes their fleet. Remember when we had a fleet? I do. Now they're at the bottom of the ocean. And they're going to move those nine guys back down there to blockade us. The reason they're leaving 13 guys here is to blockade the channel so we don't land guys into London or Cornwall. Alright, we don't want to move now because if we try and move, we'll get winter attrition because it is the middle of freaking winter. Those bastards. Uh, we will use horse artillery though. We'll use that on Napoleon. Oops, where were we? We'll make these guys horse artillery, and we'll make these guys horse artillery. That'll make them much better. Oh, I should have used some political points. Oh, I don't know. Do we have any? So we're going to buy some things. We can get 40 units. We're going to get a new ship, a new heavy artillery, a new infantry unit, and another new infantry unit. It is just our luck that the other naval unit would have to be away from Brittany. Yeah, Russian, all your fancy units, aren't you all special? Freaking jerk knobs. Alright, now that we've occupied Denmark, let us use Minor Nation Joins the Empire. Choose a Minor Nation, they will join us. And now that they've joined us, we'll use the Danish Navy. If Denmark's a part of the Empire, this card may be played at two French fleets in Denmark. Uh, we're going to make sure they're in port right there. 
I mean, what do we have troop-wise here? I don't think we have enough to get rid of them. Ah, uh, they don't have any extra generals. Because I would love to get these guys headed up towards Napoleon. And that'll be all of our turns, I guess. Oh, well, we, we got two more ships to make up for the two we lost in the battle. Ooh! Let's see, we can create the Grand Duchy of Warsaw. We gained four Polish units? We're gonna pick that. Oh, no! Britain is going to try and get Austria to join them again. Yeah, Austria's like, no... Oh, where are you going, you coward Brits? Come on, fight me like a real man! We can still move through Prussia. I took the Grand Duchy card, right? <laughs> I forget things so fast. Alright, what cards do we have? Grand Duchy. We don't have any faster ways to move, unfortunately. We are going to use some political power on Austria to make it so they're less likely to leave. We've got three turns that we can move through Prussia. One, two, three. That doesn't work. How are we going to get to the Grand Duchy of Warsaw to form it? All right, we're going to undo that. Uh, I, I just wanted to make sure, because in the board game, you could march across from Denmark to Sweden. We still can't. That matters because we might want to move around the St. Pete that way. But then we still have to have a way to get Moscow. I guess we'll have... No. We'll have you guys march back there and try and pick them up. Or we can have these guys march. I really want them to get the infantry. We need a way to reorganize. Once again, you see Great Britain moving Austria's political standing down. Are they going to land in Holland? We're going to try and retreat with our guys. Excellent, they did retreat. Liberate Minor Nation. This card can be played by Minor Nation. Where are they going to liberate? Oh, they liberated Holland. How dare you bastards! They're going to play the card. Recruit minor troops in Belgium or Holland. The British can recruit two infantry units if they own Belgium or Holland. Or they're neutral. Dang it. Come on, Dutch people. You're my ancestors. <laughs> You're supposed to be on my side. Oh, we'll move you in Picardy. We'll move you in Lorraine. I'm not sure if I dare move these guys out of Denmark right now. And to form the Grand Duchy of Warsaw, we gotta have French troops in there, which we don't have. If we could get French troops in there, we could raise a bunch of troops. Because of all these other cards we have regarding the same thing. Do we dare take these guys out and attack? Even if we win that, what's the gain? We need to wait until we get a storm card. So we can get bribe na major nation. Bribe a nation by handing over a minor nation. And their diplomatic relation goes up by four. Or we can turn something into a heavy cavalry. I think we'll just pick heavy cavalry. Interesting. Is the British move into Westphalia? What kind of troops do we have here? We only have two artillery. What do they have? Three artillery. Shoot. Why don't we move Napoleon's army down here? That'll force them to move backwards. Either to Holland to escape or south 
towards where we got our other armies starting to get set up. Prussia has been restored! Resumed to his place of power. What it basically means, though, is that Great Britain can get them on their side again. There's been so much back and forth in this war. We need a real plan to go into Russia. We could declare war on Prussia. We're going to do that. Where is it? France declares war. May be played against any major nation that is currently neutral. So we declared war on Prussia. Napoleon is going to move his army in. The reason I want to do this is we want to take the Grand Duchy of Warsaw. So let's put our horse artillery right here in the center. Put these artillery on the left flank. And then we'll just put some guys around wherever. It's not really haphazard. <laughs> Alright, let's blast them with their horse artillery. If we could take down their artillery, it'd be awesome. Sweet, made them retreat right away. It's nothing per personal, Prussia, but we want the Grand Duchy of Warsaw. Because we need some sort of plan so we can finally get into Russia. I really want to take out England, though. Because even if we knock Russia out temporarily, England is what we need to get rid of big time, long term. But we're having such a hard time getting a bigger navy than them. And I don't know how to do that, because you, you've seen when we go to buy that we're very limited in the amount of naval units we can get. Oh, they hurt one of our guys. That's not nice. Well, they made him disordered. I guess it didn't really hurt. They just scared him. We pooed ourselves a bit. By a bit, I mean a lot. Don't worry, that happens, bro. Wow, if we hit with this artillery here and make them retreat or kill them, we win the battle. Well, we didn't. <laughs> it goes on. This area here, this like one spot. There we go, we killed him. I was just having flashbacks of that one battle where we couldn't destroy the unit that was there. This isn't all bad either too to kill Prussian troops while we can. Oh, their guy did a good job recruiting. We're gonna get to move more though, because you can see their commander's thing went down. Wow, they got a first shot, or first movement? I was amazed by that. I'm gonna shut up, I don't know what I'm talking about. I was gonna say because his number went down, odds are we were gonna win the initiative rolls, but. Oh, well, we've got this battle, as long as something super stupid don't happen. Not bad. Hopefully they don't kill any of our guys. Not bad. Alright, they retreated. I got scared for a second there. We're not going to worry about rallying our guy. We've got plenty of people. Apparently their guys failed to rally. Thank God. Uh, I want to get rid of their cavalry, actually, so we have a better chance to pursue people, hypothetically, after this battle. Not bad! We won! Hell yeah! We should be able to pursue them. I like how Prussia was like, we're neutral, we're back on the world stage, and we're like, no, we're gonna initiate pursuit. We have a bunch of cavalry, we got eight hits. We just decimated the Prussian army, which is good long term. It's really good long term. The joys of victory, the enemy leader, Anton Wilhelm von Leskakuja, has been killed while scurrying away from battle. 
This one guy is all that is left of the Prussian army? Ooh, somebody's got a combat rating of 5! I've never had that before! Look at all those dead Prussians. We have crushed them in Gross Beener. Baron. Beeren. Gross Beerland. We get the new card, Bribe a Nation, where we can give up a minor territory to bribe someone. So they have to attack us again. Well, they have to attack us this time. We attacked them last time. They have to do that to try and defend their capital. And from what I've seen, the odds of them succeeding are very low. Alright, let's horse artillery these guys. This is a perfect time to do this, though. If we wear their army down enough, then even if they are, are at peace for a while and try and rebuild their army, which they will rebuild it some, hopefully they won't rebuild it enough where it's ever a threat. Yeah! Wow, we're tearing through. Let's try our new number five, Johnny Five Artillery. Excellent attack. Yeah, kill those dudes. I am glad I am not a Prussian soldier. You know what they should give them? Instead of a bayonet attachment, it should be a shovel attachment so they can div dig graves for the ones who are going to die. Are we digging fog cells? No, you dig your own grave. Save times for everyone else. And we killed some more and we broke the center. Once again, we are going to pursue. Eight hits. That's why it's great to have a lot of cavalry. And we wiped out everybody. Everybody bit the big one. Look at that. In two turns, we have destroyed. They had a leader die there, too, because there was nothing left. We can recruit minor nation troops. We have totally just blown the crap out of them and not in a sexy way. Let us reform these guys. I want to put at least three artillery in the main body. We'll put that leader there. The rest of these are just basically cannon fodder reinforcements on the way. Probably knock out one of these infantry. I think that's an Italian dude. No, that's oh, it's not what I meant. Is it what I meant? I don't know. These controls are funky. <laughs> Oh, I did it right for once. Sweet. Okay, so we put the artillery in. Ugh. My own stupidity is pissing me off. We don't want to bribe a major nation. Why don't we use heavy cavalry? Can we use it on Napoleons? No, we don't have anybody we can upgrade, apparently. So we'll wait on that. I thought we did. Recruit minor nation troops. Recruit two infantry in any minor nation that is a part of the empire. We could recruit two here in Saxony. Well, that's a pain in the ass. You know, will we, will we recruit them wherever these guys are going through? Napoleon marries into a royal family. Select a major nation. That nation will advance five places in the diplomatic track. The other major nations will move negative one. Hmm. I think we'll go with that one. That seems pretty good. Oh, where the hell the English guys are going? Prussia got his ass kicked again! This guy, what's his name? He needs a French name. He'll be Jacques. Yeah, I'll kick their shit out of them again. I'm used to it. We got another new card because of that minor nation that we can have join us. 
The U.S. declares war on Great Britain! Ooh, we might use that card. Alright, it is the winter turn. As such. I'm just looking at what we got. Oh, sorry about that. Excuse me. We have a lot of political points. Let's use two on Austria. And then why don't we marry an Austrian sex lady? We'll have Napoleon marry some sexy Austrian lady. The reason we do that is... Well, sorry if the mic got weird there a moment. The diplomatic rating with Austria now is 10, making it very unlikely for a while that they would want to be our enemy. Uh, we're not going to move anybody during this phase, though, because we don't want to deal with attrition. We might use this soon. The U.S. declares war on Great Britain in the War of 1812. It's not quite 1812 yet, but you know what I mean. Great Britain tries to make Italy like us less. We'll get one more ship. Uh, light artillery. Uh, cavalry. And infantry. Is that four? Apparently it is. Why are you putting the naval squadrons where I don't need them? That's a pain in the butt. A lot of Russians right up there. Alright, so we get a new turn. Napoleon, head towards the Grand Duchy of Warsaw. I think the Russians own it. It looks like the Russian emblem. If there's a little marker like that, it means it's a neutral territory, but is occupied or owned currently by a major nation. Wait, no, that's, that's Prussia's. Never mind. You can go chase him. You guys can merge here. We'll pick up these other guys, because they can't march without a leader. Do we take a big risk? You know what we're going to do? Before we do that, we're going to play the... The U.S. declares war on Great Britain. When played, two British naval units and two British regular infantry units are removed from play. Let's just hope they're from that fleet right off of Brittany. Oh, uh, no, they had to pick them from up there. No, they picked one from down here. We're going to go out and attack. This might be a horrible choice. The big thing is going to be surviving, like, the first two rounds. Because their ships are so much better than ours. And they can have seven in a line when we can only have six. See, they've already disabled one of our ships. We've got to disable one of theirs or destroy it. Oh, man, we're missing just as bad as they were missing us. Like, dude, I miss you. <laughs> it's not as bad as the last naval battle, I don't think, that we had. All right, we've got three ships left. We've got to damage or kill one of theirs. You guys got to at least hit. All right, somebody finally hit. Oh, I... We were horrible! All six of our guys, only one guy hit. That was just awful. <laughs> Alright, there. We've, we've got it, uh, not disabled, we've got it... Wait, what? what is it? Disordered? I think that's what it is. Oh, yes, we captured it. Hell yeah. We've got to get to a point, though, where they're down to five ships. Oh, yes! 
They sunk one of ours, we sunk one of theirs. Well, they did damage our ship there, unfortunately. Why do you gotta make my cheese? Or my sail Swiss cheese? I wish they were cheesy sails. Mm. Alright, so they have six guys up front. We have six guys up front. Though their ships are still better than ours. Come on, guys. We gotta get some hits. If we can get some hits here, we can do something. Oh. They disordered our ship somehow. Everybody's like, oh, I don't know what your order is. Hit him! Sorry, I'm just like, come on! Oh, they sunk one of ours. Another one of ours, actually. Can you guys hit? You're all missing! Again! It only caused light damage? Oh, there goes another one of our ships. Fucking Brits. Come on, can we take that ship? Can we capture it? No. Oh, come on, dudes! We gotta get it so we have more ships on the line than they are. Oh, we sunk it at least. Okay, that's something. Now we're closer to where we want to be. They still got better ships. They might still go in better places in the order, but we've got more ships. I probably shouldn't have put a Spanish ship on the line, or whatever that is. Alright, there we go. We, we damaged them. Can you capture that ship? Good, because we need to capture ships because we don't have the means to make as many ships as we'd like. The enemy fleet is retreating. We should get that ship back then, I believe. Yeah! And we captured some of theirs. Could this be the beginning of a turning point? They killed three of ours. We killed two of theirs, but we captured two of theirs as well. So it'll take two turns for those to be ready. Let's go to Verdi. We're going to pick up the ships there, and then we'll move into Brittany. We'd have 14 ships at that point. We're slowly getting closer. If we can get to a point where we could destroy the British fleet, then Britain is screwed, and then we can finally end these wars. You know what else we're going to do? That opened up the Bay of Biscay. We're going to move these Danish fleet into the Baltics, into the North Sea, into the North Atlantic, into the Bay of Biscay. And then we merged everybody. Oh my god. We were able to save the Danish fleet, merge it with our own, and we got a 14-ship fleet. It would be dumb to attack their 13-ship fleet. But that is pretty damn good. And it means we could move, well, approximately 15 people navally. But still, if we try and go across the channel there, that would be problematic. Well, everybody, that's going to be the end of this episode. Not bad. Any naval battle victory is huge. Not to mention the fact, when we get two more ships, I think, will be online in two turns that we captured. We could be up to 16 ships. Wow. I don't know what else to say than that. Good things are on the way, I hope. 
Well, the other thing I ought to look at, too, is we have some political points. Let us put one on Spain, making sure they stay neutral. And let us apply one more to Austria to try and keep them well out of the reach of Great Britain. So we still have to make Great Britain give up, break them, and then eventually break Russia. Easier said than done. Take it easy, everybody.